Okay, here's the third of a series dealing with the scalene triangle that is in the plane net of the E module that makes up one one hundred twentieth of a rhombic tricontahedron. There's sixty left and sixty right-handed modules. They both can fold off of the same plane net. Okay, in this case, I have highlighted in the green is an area of the scaling triangle, and I've proven in a prior video that, I don't know, I'll say proven, that that area is the same as this area of this square. Now that's an interesting bit of information in my opinion, and I find it very exciting. Because I'm aware, I don't know what's going on here, I guess the area is already shown so it's not going to like behave or the dam. I'm having problems here, I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on with this video. So, essentially I was trying to show this square here has the same area as this triangle here. And that was shown in a in prior video. So, if the area of this square was 1, the area of this scaling triangle is 1. Also, this scaling triangle would fit into a square that is 1.618 on an edge. So, that makes the uh, area a second power of the golden ratio and it's increasing in area where if this initial square here is one is just one square unit because it's a one by one edge this one being 1.618 would have a 2.618 area that's going to be important in this discussion that's why I keep talking about it, it seems rather basic stuff okay now moving forward we have a series of let's say play nets of different sizes what I want to emphasize here is that linearly let's say in one dimension you increase by phi and the increase is phi to the next power so phi to the zero would be one and phi to the first power would be 1.618 some people say phi, but I'm saying phi most of my life. And so therefore, phi to the second power is 2.618. The interesting property is phi to the zero plus phi to the first power is equal to phi to the second power. And that is an additive and exponential geometric series. And that's what the golden proportion does. And so aerially, we're increasing by phi to the second. So in fact, if we had a square with the edge between these two, you know of this within this area and it had a volume up uh, excuse me a uh, that was really poorly done that had an area of one and I'm not including the little part here of the square and then the next square would have an area of 2.618 and what would the next area be um, I don't know it offhand. It's 6.4 something. We can also go to Google and do that real quick. We can go. Um, I think we can even do it this way. We'll see what happens. There it is 2.618. And then we can also go to the fourth power. And that's 6.854. Anyway, that's the area of the next larger square. All right. No, we go there. All right. <clears throat> it's all for a reason here. So, if we were to say that this overall triangle here was an area of 2.618, which would be the same as the area. Well, that's not going to work. The area of, I'm not actually completing the square. Hopefully in the prior videos you know what I mean by this area plus this, this, this little 
That's all freaking right. This area too, we'll have to count that too, just so we're on the same page. That this square area here is the same as this overall area of this triangle. Okay. Now, why do I keep talking about this stuff? Well, there's a reason for it. Okay. Now, this triangle here is the same area as this triangle. Now, we just stated that the overall area of the complete triangle from here to here to here is 2.618. Well, we have also shown that this area here of this triangle, why don't I just highlight it, the area here is going to be the same area as this square down in here, which was 1. Oops, I should probably show a little bit more than that so it doesn't look so stupid. Which was 1. Why, oh, I'm still missing. You know, anyway, forget it. So if I say that the area of this triangle is 1, and the area of this triangle is 1, that le leaves the remaining part of this overall triangle to be right here. And 1 plus 1 is 2, subtracted from 2.618 is 0.618, which is in the phi sequence. So what we have here is a, phi, a linear phi growth in area. If we say this initial triangle here, is 1 and we add this triangle here we have 1.618 now if you notice this triangle plus this triangle this edge here is a yellow and this is a yellow and this is a red so this overall triangle here is similar where did I go it is similar to this triangle so these triangles, this one has an area of 1.618, this one has an area of 0.618, this one has an area of 1, and then this one has an area of 1 as well. So we are climbing up the phi um, sequence in area, which, if we remember, area is typically phi to the second power, or is to the second power, the way it's computed. So we have this linear growth. Now, also in the golden three-dimensional spiral, we have a UVW tetrahedra, and they are in also the phi ratio to each other. But they use three tetrahedra, whereas here we're using two different triangles that are similar, and it kind of follows that whole phi scaling. So I guess I have this one here just to emphasize again that this triangle adding this um, yellow, yellow, red one to it makes a larger yellow, yellow, red. So we have an aerial increase by phi. And we will then be exploring UVWs in this relationship of these triangles some more. As this, this thing keeps growing, it's each each area is increased by the next phi step. So it's going from five to let's say we'll call it one. Well, one, which is phi to zero. Here's phi to the first power part that area. And now we have phi to the second. We have phi to the third. Phi to the fourth, phi to the fifth, phi to the sixth. The aerials ratio to each other. Thanks.